Hi everyone, welcome to the IoT Hero Show, my weekly showcase of thought leadership on the Internet of Things. My name is Tom Raftery, I'm the Global IoT Evangelist for SAP, and now, on with the show. Hi, this is Tom Kurtz with SAP, and today I'd like to show you our live airport demo. The live airport demo is a showcase that really shows the power of SAP Leonardo. Specifically, the products, how the products in that portfolio can work together to bring together a solution in a real life example. That live example is with airport operations. So I'm gonna start by going into our operations room. So now the user persona I'm playing is that of an airport operations director. My role is to look at a lot of different functions around the management of my airport facilities. So that could be anything from the arrival of flight information, terminal parking information, what's going on on the vehicles that I have out on the tarmac, waiting time for securities, passengers, even all the way down to the revenue, the commerce that we're looking at in terms of our actual retail outlets. So one of the things I first notice when I'm looking at this dashboard is that I have some higher than normal security wait times. So I'm gonna go in and take a deeper look at why that might be the case. So I'm looking at some analytics, but specifically I'm looking at a schematic of the security area that's in question. So what I want to be able to do at different times is be able to look at the, the traffic patterns that were going through this security area at different, different times a day. But I only also don't only want to look at that, but I also want to look at that in terms of the security workforce that I have or the shift workforce that I have. So again, not only looking at the information that's, that's coming in from a technology, operations technology perspective, but also the enterprise data that I need to look at as well. So how, how could this, these traffic patterns impact the workforce balance that I want to have? So that's one example. If I go back to my dashboard now, I'm gonna look at a separate, separate, uh, second example, and that is of the vehicle fleet usage. So whereas the first example showed some, uh, some technologies that SAP has in terms of analytics as well as workforce planning, we also looked at some third-party technologies. Here we're gonna look at even different technologies, and that's specifically around our IoT platform. So what I'm looking at here are, is, is the tarmac, is the apron I have with a lot of moving assets. Now as an airport operator, at any given time, I have many different assets I need to care about. Catering trucks, towing vehicles, forklifts, and so forth. For the purpose of today's discussion, I'm going to look specifically at one of those forklifts. The reason I'm going to look at that forklift is I'm getting a low battery level indicator for that forklift. So I'm going to go and look at more information about that vehicle. Now, I can see a schematic of the actual item in question, but then I'm also seeing some of this telematics data. Now, there's a product from SAP's IoT portfolio called Vehicle Insights that is built on SAP Cloud Platform that connects to these devices and brings in that telematics data, which is interesting to me, but what's even more interesting is being able to recognize the order information that that forklift is responsible for. So not only am I looking again at the operations technology data, I'm blending it with my enterprise data. In this case, understanding if this forklift were to go down for the low battery, what kind of downstream impacts would that have? What I also want to be able to do is not just recognize that, but, but take an action on that. So in this case, I might have an alternate, uh, alternative vehicle that I can switch that out for, thereby protecting those orders. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and kick off the workflow for that. So again, bringing the power of operations technology data together with the enterprise data. The last scenario I wanted to be able to show is related to commerce. So I'm going to go, I mentioned earlier the retail outlets that I have in my airport. So I'm going to look at the, 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 the information that's presented here. And there's a couple products from SAP, one around exchange media, which is campaign effectiveness in advertising. And the second around is Hybris around marketing pr promotions and end commerce programs. And so I'm going to look at some examples of how those products can help me with my airport operations as well. So I'm going to bring back that heat map functionality that we looked at. Uh, as an example here, I'm looking at my different retail outlets. I can see the campaign effectiveness in the different channels and the performance of those stores. But I also want to be able to look at things in real time. And I received another alert that we have a flight to Tokyo that's delayed. So I want to look at information about that flight because what that's telling me is there are probably now about two to 300 passengers who are in my airport for an extra hour that we weren't anticipating. I have an opportunity now to promote, promote items to them to help them manage their experience 
and, and make their experience more enjoyable. So I'm looking at the different media outlets that I have, different LED, uh, or I'm sorry, different uh, monitors that I have, video monitors, and even the uh, Wi-Fi hotspots that I might be able to push mobile messaging out. So these are different promotions that I've run, and now I have an opportunity to see if any of those promotions might benefit my passengers in this situation. So again, bringing the power of the operations technology with enterprise data. So if I bring this all back then to the beginning, we talked in the opening about the power of the, the, the Leonardo portfolio and the different products. In this demonstration, we've looked at Analytics Cloud. We've looked at some custom technologies with machine learning. In the security example, we've looked at, looked at workforce planning. We've looked at IoT uh, solutions like Vehicle Insights and how that can be tied to uh, digital supply chain solutions like warehouse management or transportation management. We've even looked at some commerce examples in terms of exchange media and hybris. So again, bringing the power of Leonardo together to solve a specific business problem. This has been Tom Kurtz. Thanks for listening.